Hello everyone, I'm back. Sorry, I know I haven't really been recording and uploading videos. It's really because school has started and it just has been taking me a minute to get adjusted to everything. But now I'm back on track. So it's like 1.30 and pretty much today all I've done is go on my Zoom class, which is like, like 10, 20 this morning. And then I've really just been chilling since I ate. And I'm really just about to get ready for the day. Kind of starting off my day kind of late. Yeah. All right, let me get ready. scholarship from UGA and it's like this suit up scholarship where pretty much they team up with JCPenney I guess for like business attire for students so I have to go pick that up so I just um, printed out and signed like the forms that I needed to get done for that and I'm about to head over to campus now and then I'm going to go to the store because I'm working on catching up on all these paintings honestly I've been really behind so I'm focusing on two things. I have one denim jacket. I've never done a jacket before, but you know, it's the first time for everything. And then one, it's like a football painting that I gotta work on. The football painting's already been started. I just really need to finish it because I'm so behind y'all. And then the jacket was also like a really last minute thing someone did, but yeah, let's go ahead and go. It feels kind of weird being on campus in general. Like, when I come, I come for one class and it's this personal training class. So it's at the gym and I only go like early in the morning when nobody is there. So I really don't worry about being around anybody. So I decided before I go to Hobby Lobby, I'm about to stop by the car wash because y'all my car is so dirty. Normally I go once a week, but I really haven't taken my car have two weeks and honestly it's bothering me i like to have a clean car i don't know that's just me i just don't well if i'm driving around my, and my car is dirty i just feel like ew what am i doing y'all my baby is finally free so definitely okay y'all i just got back home i went to hobby lobby and i bought some like fabric glue because I don't really know how to sew. And she wanted me to also like add like a fringe. They didn't even have like the kind of fringe I think that she wanted. So I bought this. And I think I'm gonna like cut it up, like each individual one, and then glue it to the jacket. Because they didn't have like this like rhinestone look in a fringe, if that makes sense. Except for individuals, and that would have been way taking way too long. So I'm gonna keep like the top ones together and cut the rest of them to make a fringe look and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started because i already feel like i'm behind
like pure white unless I do like 50 layers. the next day Saturday morning and last night um, my family came over to eat dinner with me and then I was just really sleepy afterwards so I kind of stopped working on the jacket In the video, it looks like I'm headed straight towards a tree, but I promise y'all I was not steering for a tree. Okay, this is what happened. This is only this was only my second time going four wheel riding. The first time I went was in Puerto Rico, and that was like in a controlled setting, so it was like kind of different. This was at Durham Town in like Union Point, Georgia, something like that. And it's like 6,000 acres of just like dirt trails and all that where you can really do whatever you want to do. 
anywho, what happened was, okay, I know I wasn't even going that fast and stuff like the whole time because like, like I said, it's only my second time. Like to me, it felt somewhat fast. And like sometimes, you know, when you ride a four wheel, you feel like you're losing control even if you're not. It's just like a mental thing. But it was only my first time, so I wasn't trying to push it too hard. Anyways, so no one told me that like when it hits the, I'm thinking like, oh, if it hits the mud, like it might slow down a little bit. But I'm not thinking like, oh, it's just gonna like, you know, you gotta, I guess like you need to drive a four wheeler differently when you're going through the mud than like when you're not. But look, nobody told me that, okay? Nobody told me that. So I'm just thinking it's gonna be like somewhat the same, no. What happened was as soon as the wheel, even like a smart part like touched the wheel, it was over with because it already started jerking around. It didn't jerk, but to me it felt like it was jerking. When you watch the video, it really wasn't, but to me it felt like it. So at that point, I was already going up the little hill and I was like, well, it is what it is, I'm gonna fall. So at that point, I'm just, I'm just preparing myself to fall mentally. You know? Anyway, so I fell on my butt. Like I jerked up, fell down on my butt. Apparently I bounced on the ground. And y'all guess what this resulted in. I don't know about other crutches in a different room. But yeah, I broke my pelvic bone. <laughs> this is so sad. This is embarrassing. I mean, I guess at least I had fun going out, but like, dang, this is tough. I think there's like a crack, uh, I don't know. Well, I broke my pelvic bone in like two parts. One is really small, the other one is bigger. And so yeah, I'm on crutches for about four to six weeks. It's been about a week and a half or so now. The first day it happened, I could not even put my foot on the ground or anything like that, y'all. Like, it was hurting so bad. But I was like, oh, I'm going to just wait it out, give it a couple days before I go to the doctor because I don't like to go to the doctor unless I absolutely have to go to the doctor. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just like that. Anyway, so the next day, my dad made me go to the doctor. And so they took an x-ray and they're like, it's fine. It's just like, there's nothing wrong. Like, your bone is just bruised. Like, bone bruised. So I was like, okay, that's straight. Like... I mean, like, to push past the pain and, like, not hurt anything, anything worse. So I go back home, and then it's the next day. And I get a phone call in the morning from the doctor, because he's like, actually, the radiologist took a second look at your x-ray, and, uh, yeah, you need to go to the orthopedic doctors. And what's ironic about this, y'all, is where I got sent to is, like, Piedmont Orthopedics. It's the same clinic that I was shadowing at, so, like, the PAs and stuff, they knew me over there. <laughs> and they were like, what happened to you? Yeah, like, I love a four-wheeler. It was like, really, Sabina? And I'm like, yeah. So they took some more x-rays, and then they're like, the PA walked in, he's like, yep, it's broken. And I was like, dang. Thankfully, though, he said, of all the places it could have broke or whatever, this is the best one. He said I can't hurt it anymore, and it's already, like, messed up. I didn't have to have surgery because it was, like, a, it was my, I guess, pelvis was still stable. So that was good news. I've been trying to push myself to get off these crutches and part of me thinks that like I'm slowing down my recovery process It's just really frustrating having to use crutches. I'm sure anyone that has broken something knows My parents have been helpful and my roommates have been really helpful I know my roommates are probably annoyed with me y'all because this is the thing about crutches It's like you can't carry stuff and I live on the third floor of our townhouse the third floor So every time I need something to be taken up in the stairs and downstairs like I have to ask one of them to do it I'd be feeling so bad but they're literally so sweet and so helpful. So really, they've been making it easier through this process. And then, okay, so then, like, a, after a week passed, once I found out it was broken, like, I have these chest pains, y'all. And, like, I, have, I it was scaring me because the doctor was like, it could be, like, a blood clot, like, that started there and, like, made escape and made it sweat near your lungs or your heart area. So like, y'all, I just ended up going to the emergency room because I was just so paranoid. Cause like, what if it was a blood clot and something extremely bad happened to me? At the beginning, it was hurting for me to like reach or stuff, or like if I lay on my chest, it hurts. Um, the only thing so far that's kind of went away is like my reaching, but like it definitely still hurts if I lay on it or if I'm laughing or coughing or sneezing. I went to the emergency room. They did like a CT scan and everything. They said there was no blood clot, so I guess it's just like somehow the impact, I don't know, caused the lining, it's like pleurs. I know I'm saying it wrong, I know I'm saying it wrong. But it caused like the outer lining of my lung to swell up or something, so that's what it is. I haven't been prescribed any medication for anything, basically. I'm supposed to be taking like 
Advil and Tylenol like four times a day at least. And honestly, I, I, I've been going without taking it at all. So maybe that's the cause of some of my pain, like why I don't really feel relief. I just really hate taking any type of medicine, y'all, if I don't have to. So. But anyways, that's my quick little life update. So, bye. Hey, you guys. So it's game day. Sorry, I know I'm not the best at vlogging. It's because I get so caught up in stuff and I always forget to like record things happening. But pretty much, I've been chilling. Ignore this little guest on my head. <laughs> Scared me. All right, this is JJ. What up, though? You feel me? This is some J in the internet. Y'all go follow me, man. I don't even know my Instagram app, but y'all do that. Look at Storm. This is Storm, y'all, because I haven't vlogged anything. Storm, come in. You don't even know what he wants. We're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama for the Georgia Bama game. I haven't really done much today. All I have done is... Walk the dog. I did walk the dog with a broken hip. I just want my props because I really did try to walk Storm with a broken hip. And that little man was pulling me. He was really walking me. Y'all, I painted a jacket for the game, but I really only had a couple hours to do it. Or like since yesterday. But hey, it's better than nothing. Facts, facts, facts. So catch y'all later, bye! Okay vlog, me and JJ are walking to the stadium. She limping along. I decided to go with one crutch today, cause... She should have brought two. I think we could have been moving a little faster. No, I would have been slower with two. Who this is with the police on the scrimmage van? Anyways, I just want y'all to know that Alabama is way worse than Georgia is with masks. All right. These people don't have... Vlog oh. over. Like I was saying before JJ cut me off, Bama here? Is it far? No, it's just on the other side. <laughs> I tried to make that sound as good as possible. I know, he said no, it's just all the way on the other side. Yeah, they're horrible at wearing masks here. It's worse than Georgia is actually, like. I'm gonna take you and your phone.